Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm taking part in the Craft Stash and Family YouTube Hop. So there's a group of us that have all got together and we're making some festive makes and sharing them. So hopefully you'll feel very inspired by the time you finish the hop. So if you've never joined a hop before, basically if you just scroll down below this video, you will see a list of lots of other people that are taking part. You'll see an arrow next to this video. Just click on the person below and it will take you to their video. Each one of us is also giving away a £25 voucher and all you have to do to stand a chance of winning that is make sure you like, comment and subscribe to all of the people taking part and then Craft Stash will at random choose a winner from each of the videos and that will be announced on the Craft Stash page and also each of us will put a post up as well announcing the winners. Today I'm going to be making this card here which I made during a recent Facebook Live. And I just thought it was such a nice style. So I'm not going to be using the lovely little Monty dog here. I'm going to be using a Daisy May set and creating a really fun snowman tiered card. So let's get started. So I didn't realise that I didn't have these ones as part of the complete collection. The ones that I purchased, I thought well, that was all of them. And then I realised there was these two. I didn't think I was going to use them this side of Christmas, but I've managed to make this card. So I've used the so much fun Daisy May one. They're the two main images. And then I've taken the sentiment from this one, but you could do the exact same card with the three penguins here as well. They're really, really cute. And that's the perfect penguins. So I've done kind of like two of the three tiers and then I've got this one here. So what you want, first of all, is the back piece is six by eight. So that's the main card size. And I've already stamped the sentiment there. I just really like the arch there. I might round the edges off here as well just so it kind of fits a little bit better i've then cut myself all of the pieces that you need need to be nine inches wide and the scoring that i do on this one will be the same on all of them but the the heights of them are going to vary depending on the image that you use so what i would always say is make it bigger in terms of the height and then you know if you change your mind and things like that you've got the space to make those changes but what i did is got this piece and then get the stamps and kind of lay them down where you think you will want them to go so for example I wanted him to be near the top and then I wanted him further down okay like so but do that on these bigger pieces the nine inch wide pieces and then you can stamp them so you can see here how I've stamped that one in a similar position where that is there and then this one here just slightly lower down you can see it's pretty much in line there with where I kind of planned it to go so just kind of you know think about your positionings and, and how you want it to be so you can see how one of the tiers is going to look when it's cut and that's the one that's going at the back so I stamped and coloured these ones and I'll pop that little video in now OK, so the scoring that you need to do on all of these, so along the nine inch side, you're going to score at half an inch, one and one and a half. And then seven and a half, eight and eight and a half. Then what I've done is I've just kind of with my grey pencil, just roughly drawn out where I want the image to end. And it just goes up to the start of that score line there and there. I'm going to cut completely straight across the three score lines to join that pencil mark okay and then I'm going to cut below it so I'm actually removing the pencil mark now because I'm going to be adding glitter around here and then once I get to the start of the image 
like so. I'm going to cut around it. Now, I'm not leaving any white border with these ones, just like I did with the dog here. I cut right up to it. But if you want to leave yourself a white border, then just cut a few millimetres away from the image. So now I'm just going to very carefully cut this out. And then when you get to the end of your image, just, you know, follow it until you hit the next lot of score lines. And then what you want to do is just make sure you might want to draw the pencil in a pencil mark in, you know, before you cut it. But this one here is two and three eighths. So I want to make sure that this is the same. So that's good. Actually, I can come down a little bit there. So two and three is just there. So what I will do is carry on cutting the image until I'm closer to that two and three eighth like so and then just cut across and down and then just go straight again over the three and then to fold it you just want to create a mountain fold a valley fold and then a mountain fold so you've got like an m shape again on this side so it would be a mountain a valley and then a mountain like so and then if you want it to stick out some more just add a slight curve to the image there just slightly just carefully go over the top there and now this one will end up sticking on the front there so i'm going to do exactly the same now with this one so i'm just going to cut straight across and just go straight to the start of the snowball image there and then again just cut around this one and then again this one is three quarters wide here so i've just cut around the top of the sentiment and then i'm just going to bring that down until i meet up with the pencil mark and then again just cut straight across like so do the same folding so before we stick this down if you've got anything else you want to stamp onto your tiers if you want to do any stamping on this piece here i'm going to stamp a couple of the single snowballs which are in the set here and maybe some of the snowflakes that might look quite sweet as well and i'm going to round the corners of this as well So I've just added a couple of the snowflakes there. So to stick them down, you just want to add your glue. You start with your largest tier and just run your glue down your tab. And you're going to line up the bottom with the bottom of the card. And the fold, you want it to run flush with the side of the card there. So can you see how it looks inside? So I've just stuck it down. So that fold there, just make sure it runs flush there okay and then just take the other end and run it along there and then again just fold that under and make sure that it lines up with the edge and you'll see you've got the first tier there and you could just have that one it does hold itself really nicely then for the next tier you do exactly the same you stick it on top of this one and then again if you've got a third tier you'll stick it on top again Okay, so that's how the tiers all look once they're stuck together and you can see it stands really nice it's such a fun style and it all folds flat and that will go into a box envelope which i have on the channel and i'll link those so it needs a bit of sparkle now so i love using the glamour dust here and what i'm going to do is run my glue all the way along kind of the tops of the snow and on here i'm going to go around the top there and you can see how i've added it all on these and it just when it dries it looks so pretty I'm going to do all of that and then I'm going to add some of my accent glaze onto his goggles there and maybe the buttons on his nose and on the snowballs as well. So 
so there's the finished card i think it looks really really nice love the partially die cut images but equally i think this one's fantastic as well so whether you just want to have some kind of shaped tiered pieces and then an image at the back like this and if you want to use your pattern papers you can see how that one looks or if you just don't want to do too much coloring then this one was quite quick to do so as always thank you for watching and if you are wanting to now go and watch some more videos and get more inspiration then just click on the see more or the more button below this video and it will open up the drop down and you'll see links to all of the other channels there so there will be an arrow next to this video and then just click on the one below and that will take you to the next channel hopefully you get lots of inspiration like i said make sure you like you comment and subscribe to the channels and then you can be in with a chance of winning a 25 pound craft stash voucher and as i always say at the end of my videos if you've enjoyed today and you're not subscribed make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any future videos see you all again soon bye